you talked a little bit about this in your presentation today. So we want to talk a little bit about machine learning and AI technology. Now, I talked to someone recently actually on the break of saying, you know, people, some people think machine learning is different or not a part of AI technology. And so we're seeing there's so many uses for this, especially in how we analyze content what content tells us about our customers, and then being able to use that feedback, use that data to really maybe predict where they are in their journey, you know, what, what's the next step, you know, the next best suggestion. So talk a little bit about, uh, I think first, of where do you see people right now just in that journey? And then we can talk a little bit about how we use uh, content analytics to tell us more about our customers. Yeah, yeah. I think there's 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 two words that I think of, and uh, and and again, I'm not sure the context of the conversation you had, but but in in essence, all of the anything that you would put as AI, there has to be sort of this learning model involved. So in a sense, it's really about machine learning. Um, but I think there's continual. So this is something that because learning is involved, learning is continual. I mean, you know, just look at ourselves, right? We, you know, the, the, the best experience is to be a continual learner, right? There, there's so much to learn. We always have something to learn. So continual uh, learning is, is a really important factor to keep in mind. And the second is pragmatic, right? We can't, we're not going to solve everything with these technologies. So don't, don't set up those kinds of expectations. And, and I think the, so just an example of something that we're doing is taking our semantic AI, our semantic engine, and being able to, to give it the information it needs to be able to recognize the difference between, in a, in a, call, in a phone call with, between a customer and an agent, which one is the agent and which one is the customer. Seems pretty, seems pretty uh, simple to do, but it's actually not. But you can actually take semantic technology and teach it how to recognize who's who. And then based on that, there's so much more you can do. And that's, that's the example of pragmatic. D don't try to solve everything. Take one of these problems and let's use the technology to recognize, uh, to, that, that recognizes information and then can learn to make inferences and, and reach confident conclusions from it. Pragmatic. So just a step at a time. So when you talk about pragmatic and you use that example, between recognizing, you know, who is who. I guess, could you use that for maybe detecting similarities between content blocks? Yes, absolutely. And I think the applications go um, beyond beyond that. And I, I think the, the, the challenge, of course, is that a lot of times content is very, very similar, but the differences make all the difference in the world. So even small differences can sometimes look like they're the same. So there always has to be that balance. Uh, but I think where, where the, the, the real power is in being able to categorize content in a way to help us segment. So uh, to understand how the content is interacted with by customers, which segments of my customer base engage best with which types of content to then help me learn how to better provide content for my customer.